So my name is Robbie Babbitt. I'm with Gravel. I'm at the Outdoor Retailer Show. Some great new products in our offering coming out for 2019. This guy is the new Duetto helmet. It's a rendition of the Stealth helmet. Uh, the name Duetto means two in Italian, so we have uh, a dual certification helmet. But not only is it a dual certification helmet, it is also the lightest on the market by 40%. Most helmets are about 300 grams. This one's 195 grams. Big difference in this helmet is that it is made of an expanded polypropylene. So it makes it a little bit bigger in the thickness of the walls. And then this shape also allows for um, impact on all sides. Most climbing helmets are rated for impact on the top. This one's rated for impact on all sides. A key difference here for the ski certification is that we have smaller holes here to impede penetration in the helmet. The ski certification is an EN 1077 certification, and then it also has a climbing certification like every other helmet on the market. This helmet is expected to be released for fall of 2019, shipping in around September. Pricing is 149 and two colors, blue and gray. This is a helmet meant for ski mountaineers. It's a growing trend not to take an actual uh, like inbound helmet into the, into the backcountry. Uh, it takes up a lot of space. Nobody wants to wear them because they overheat. You can wear this the whole time that you're skinning and skiing down. Actually cuts back on transition times. You can wear smaller packs and go faster and lighter. It's a webbing harness system where you have the, this yellow piece goes around the back of the crown of the head. It's a one size adjustment, fits uh, 53 to 61 centimeters. It just basically disappears inside the helmet. So you can throw a jacket in there and put it in your pack or whatever. It does hold both headlamps and goggles. This flat surface on the back will allow you to have a goggle strap on the back as well as uh, these headlamp clips as well. This is actually, can take it out to wash it, but that's about the only foam that's in there. These helmets are designed the, basically for an impact that if you uh, have a visible deformation of the helmet, it should be retired. These helmets typic typically don't hold up to a lot of abuse, but we do have helmets with hard shells on them that actually, if a user is throwing it in and out of a pack they want, you want a lot more durability for the dollar than you would go with a Stealth, Stealth HS, for instance, which has a hard uh, plastic over the top.